What's going on guys? I just wanna let you know real quick that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and to run your business. What's going on guys and welcome back to another game analysis video. In this game, we take on Rio Grande Valley FC and one of the craziest games I've ever played in. This game didn't finish until two o'clock, or no, sorry, 2.45 a.m. in the morning. So just, just a crazy game with lightning, weather delays, all this stuff. Um, anyway, this is our third game of the season. Like I said, currently going into here with two ties, so we kind of need to start picking up points. Here's RGV's lineup, and then here is our lineup. I, again, am playing on the left. My name is Matt Sheldon, number 13 for FC Tulsa. So in these videos, I just break down every single one of my touches, every single one of my defensive plays on the ball, and just try to learn from it myself. And I just kind of post it on YouTube so you guys can uh, hopefully pick up some stuff and learn from a few things as well. So without further ado, let's get into the game. RGV has the kickoff at the very beginning. Beautiful, big stadium, empty stadium because of the coronavirus pandemic, but a, a great place to play nonetheless. So here's the kickoff. They just play it back and then kind of switch things out. Um, now here's my very first play on the game. Ball's going to go wide out to my winger, and immediately I'm checking my shoulder, and I'm seeing this forward making a run in behind. My center back's a little bit out of it out of position he's telling me to hold he's telling me to watch this run so i'm staying back and getting ready for that ball right there to uh to weed that out and so now we can have possession of the ball again and then a decent little attack uh down the right side of the field next play winger is going to check in i'm just going to hold my position ball kind of leaks through play one time ball into my winger um, and tries to play a one-time ball into the center mid, but just doesn't connect there. And then again, just provide a little bit of pressure, maybe a little bit of a late tackle, um, but getting back in position once again, trying to win that. It's very sloppy. It's the second minute of the game. Things are very, you know, trying to get the flow of the game into it. So things are, the ball's bouncing around. We're not really connecting. And then now hopefully try to settle down. Here's the next play. Ball's going to come bouncing out to me, try to win the header. Ball drops. And once again, Let's slow it down. Let's ease it. Play into the center mid who's going to switch the side uh, of attack. RGV center mid has the ball, tries to, a through ball in straight to me. Just relax, take the ball, play into my center back, and then get high and wide uh, to try to relieve more pressure. Back to the center back again, and then he's going to play into the winger. And now here we were on the wrong page. I wanted to try to overlap it so maybe he could play it back to a center mid and then play me in behind. He wanted me to stay a little bit deeper to receive that that ball so we're just not on the same page there um but we talked about it and I, yeah i probably should have stayed to uh to give him an outlet just won that ball and then played it back to the center back for this one so this game i'm gonna say it right now offensively very you know boring game for me just this was a defensive game our whole honestly our whole team was very defensive this game um so just a lot of plays like this it's kind of collecting playing that safe ball that one two touch ball and trying to uh, keep the ball because RGB definitely had majority of possession. So here is the one play that I think I should have whipped in a cross. Ball's right here on my right foot. You can see I have two forwards in. You can see my wingers making inside run. I think I should just whip that ball in. Now this is a good ball. We have a, a good combination on the side, but I think that's the right time to, uh, to, try to, to try to whip the ball in there. Center back has the ball, plays me out lots of time, just 2v1, one touch, little quick combinations in the back trying to keep some possession center back plays in the center mid great turn plays in the winger and then just offsides there uh just unlucky and then uh rgv little attack down the middle comes straight to me lots of time lots of time just playing to my center mid tell him man on and then he plays out um and then we try to make a, a little play down the the wing throw in i'm going to throw it into my center mid uh, ball's kind of bouncing out, but it comes back to me. I'm going to bring it down, and you can see how many RGV guys are over here. It's incredibly tight. A switching ball over here is, is tough through the traffic, so I'm just going to just clip it up, just pop it up into my forward, try to relieve that pressure and get it out of there um, a little bit. Ball's just bouncing around a lot. It's kind of sloppy. Uh, and center back has the ball, plays me out wide. Lots of time and space. Take my, take my touch forward, start to attack. 2v1, cut it back into my center mid. And now we're through again. Centerman has the ball, plays out to my winger, give him a little bit of support behind. And then Martinez gets a good bounce and has a great run 
and almost gets a, a goal in the 12th minute right there. So good, good play. Now ball is in the center. Eric Bird has it. I'm going to make a run up the field, receive the ball, one touch, and go try to go for a one-two. It's good. Com- we're we're combining well, um, but you know the flow of the game definitely is in RG fav- RGV's favor with like the possession. So it's it's definitely you know try to like keep possession of the ball, settle things down a lot in this first you know 15 20 minutes. Um, just, just getting a little defensive play out wide, and then just receiving the ball. Um, and playing back to the center back there. Winger has the ball now for RGV. Good cut in, plays it back. And as you can see, so right here, as the ball's going back, our back line is stepping up. So we're all, all three of us or four of us are stepping up now. So if when this ball comes in, it's offsides. It's a close one, but it's a good step there um, for a defensive line. We're all on the same page there together. Uh, ball comes out to me on the wing, some time and space to push forward. I start driving forward, play out to my winger, and once again, continue my run up the field. Um, but uh, just lose it there. Ball comes back to my center back. Lots of time now. Have the ball again. As you, it's just tight. I mean, one, two, three, four players here. The space is over here. So I'm just going to play back to my center back and, and try to create something, try to create a good attack um, and be patient. Ball comes out to me on the wing. I'm just going to cut in now, play into my center mid, and then stay wide again. It's, it's, it's slow. But, you know, it's a, it, on the road, it's a good, I think it's a good buildup for the most part. Ball comes wide to me, playing to my center mid once again. And now we're playing back to the center back to, uh, to switch the ball. Just patience. Center back has the ball, good drive, kind of turns, gets a little bit stuck. Outlet, take my touch forward, cut it in front of him here. And now here, I should play this ball hard and low between these two uh, defenders for my striker and behind. Again, it's, it's okay play. I play to the center mid. I didn't lose it, um, and I think that you know sometimes we need that. Sometimes you don't want to immediately lose the ball again, but I think that would have been a good opportunity to attack. And then here, you know, it's just not much looking forward, um, so just play into uh, uh, try to play into the striker there, but a little bit. It's a tough ball, a little bit high, a little bit too lofted. And then defensively here, just two v one. My winger has this ball. Ball is going to kind of bounce out to me, and then one time up the ball high and wide. Um, try to just clear that out from the from the from the dangerous areas of the field. Then Lebo Meloto with the ball in the uh, corner in the 26th minute. Lebo is going to cross the ball in. Keeper comes out, bounces right in the near post, and Marlon dos Santos Praceres finishes the finishes the goal. So uh, a, a good start for us. And honestly, you know, I, I always like to be very honest and real with these. But honestly, I really do think the RGV had majority of the possession and a better build up to attacks. But that's all it takes is just one bounce. Marlon finishes it. And then there we go. Now we're up 1-0. So, uh, yeah, good finish. Good start for us, especially on the road, um, looking to get our first win. And then we have Sean Lewis taking a goal kick. It's going to get one by the RGV center midfielder. I'm just going to do an early contact to kind of knock that winger off balance. The ball is going to drop to me. And then just a quick little foul right there and uh, to, uh, to earn a free kick. So the early contact, I really think, is, is very crucial just to knock them a little bit off balance just when they're not ready for it. Not fouling them, but just knocking them off balance. You have to really kind of find that balance. Clip ball into me, bring it down, play into my winger. Um, I just lost it right there in the middle, unfortunately. RGV has the ball on the, uh, the near side, switching ball over to my player. Just put a little bit of pressure. You don't want him to turn and have an easy attack going at you, facing you. So I want his back towards the goal. I want to provide pressure, which is kind of like the theme, is, as you'll see. It's just when, the, when they have their back to the goal, get up tight. Don't let them turn. And then a little throw in for RGV. Just get around my player and try to win that, but out on me for throwing. And then here, uh, right back for RGV has the ball, plays it through, just going to uh, attack that, be aggressive, and then um, try to win that tackle. Fortunately, again, once again, out on me and uh, RGV ball. Then a little attack against staying patient, staying inside first, and then once the ball goes wide, then attacking out wide. So it's a good attack. I just kind of leave my foot in there and then win the ball, and now we can have possession of the ball there. Um, on this one again, just stay inside first, and then once you know that ball goes wide, then release, and then just hits it off me. Deflection for a for a corner kick for RGV. Center mids have the ball. Good combination inside. 
center back now. I'm getting high and wide, tons of time, tons of space. Take my space, drive forward, and then uh, as it starts to get crowded, play into my one of my strikers, and then continue my run into the box now. Now I'm just going to let this play kind of go on and continue. Just center mid and winger having the ball now on the side. I think we should switch it there, but it works out. Ariel Martinez plays into Da Costa. Now I'm uh, 1v2 on the sideline. I'm going to cut the ball to my right foot, play into Da Costa. Just get stepped on there, but uh, it's a decent little attack on the side. Just don't have that final third, that final uh, shot there. And then here in the 42nd minute, we had to delay the game because of lightning. Lightning struck you know, close, I think, within that nine-mile radius. So we had to now go back into the locker room after this game's already been delayed two and a half, three hours, and we had to wait all the way until about 1.30, 1.45 a.m. to continue the game. So what you're seeing right now in the 42nd minute, this restart is now at 1.45 a.m., which is crazy. Anyway, RGV uh, has the ball now after the restart, after the weather delay, and a decent combination on the wing. Uh, now here's my first touch once the, the play begins again rgv has a good through ball down the side just 1v1 defending letting that guy attack and then on this touch as soon as he makes that bigger touch and attacks this is the time where you can go in once it's near him be patient but once he makes that that hard touch to the sideline that's when you can go in and slide and try to win that going to have the ball just playing in my center mid who plays it right back to me and now i'm seeing my striker make a run in behind so i just have the ball on my right foot i'm just going to try to try try to drive this ball a little bit deeper into the uh into the corner defender gets ahead on it but we still end up receiving the ball now right at the end line and uh, again a decent little attack here but just missing that final that final ball or that final shot rgv center mid has the ball he's already looking long you can see that you can see his body position so i'm already trying to retract trying to, to drop back and defend that but i'm also giving a lot of pressure on my winger so if he brings that down i'm there his his honestly his only option was really to do that to head the ball out and he didn't really have much support in the middle. So uh, we were able to uh, to get that ball. And then that's halftime. So, you know, we, st we come right back out. We really only had a minute long halftime. We kind of had a quick water break and immediately started again. But before I start the commentary for the second half, I'm going to do a quick word uh, from Squarespace. Like I said, whether you guys are looking to create an online store, to create a website, or for marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace has it all. It really is a simple, all-in-one platform to really give you the tools to run your business and create an online presence. Every Squarespace template design supports all major content types, including pages, galleries, blogs, commerce, calendars, and more. So you guys can create a very clean and sharp looking website. If you guys are a coach or a personal trainer or something like that, you can easily add online booking and scheduling tools to your Squarespace website. That will make it very easy for clients to see your availability and reschedule if needed, taking all the hassle out of coordinated calendars. You also can create a real sense of community on your Squarespace website with fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded replies, comments and likes. I'm sure you guys have heard this about a thousand times already, but Squarespace really is that simple, easy to use platform to really help you run your business and to create an online presence. So go check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash become elite for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And here is the start of the second half. We have the ball forward, plays it back to the center mid, center mid back to the other center mid, and then all the way back to the center back and uh, now hit the ball, hit the ball long, looking for our striker in behind, uh, but just doesn't connect, but uh, a good way to start. Right back has the ball for RGV. He's gonna play into the winger. Now again, don't let him turn, get up and tight on him and make him play backwards. Don't foul, but get high and tight and make it difficult for the winger. Uh, ball goes in the center mid, I'm getting wide. This is the space. I think I may have a good decision to take my touch there, but it's just a little bit too heavy. Um, and then just go straight into the right back. Get a little lucky there, uh, but just a couple unfortunate touches here once again, just a little sloppy from both of us, from all of us, uh, and then I foul there, so not the best play uh, on my end there, but uh, it's in the, in the right spot of the field to do that. RGV has the ball. Now we're pressing, our forwards are pressing, and so once again, don't let them have an easy out. Get high and wide and make it difficult for that winger to turn and, and to attack. Try to stop the counterattack quickly, especially when your team's working and applying pressure like our, our forwards and wingers are. 
Uh, we receive the ball, right back receives the ball, plays into our center back. I'm getting high and wide, have lots of time receiving the ball. I'm looking forward, but there's just not much. I don't want to play Lebo in, into a, a dangerous spot here, so I'm going to take my touch in, away from that defender, away from that pressure, play into my center mid so we can switch over to the other side of the field. Um, RGV again has the ball, center back has the ball, starts to drive forward, plays in the center mid. I'm watching this guy, I'm starting to get tight, and as soon as it's no longer a threat, I'm retreating back to my defensive line. I'm seeing this guy starting to make a run towards the corner flag, so I'm going to try, just track him and follow that run. And as soon as he makes this touch, I'm going to put my body in between him and the ball and, and cut out that, that run, and then just try to kick it off him for a goal kick and uh, was successful there. So that's a, a decent... Uh, defensive play and anticipation there ball goes wide to the right back of rgv once again just following that winger making that run towards the corner flag and then playing into uh, my center mid um, and then here's a, a great look a great ball in behind and then out for our throw in ball in behind going to play it all the way back to the goalkeeper this is after a corner kick so we're very disorganized this is me a right back uh, or a, sorry a left back center back center backs who are all over the place i could play here but you know, we're up 1-0. Be smart. Be safe. We're all disorganized. I'm just going to clip it forward, and that's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with that play to get the ball up so our, our defensive line can uh, get organized again. Ball into the winger. Just make it difficult. Put a lot of pressure and make him play backwards. Don't foul because you don't want him to have an easy out there, but a lot of, of intense pressure. Um, just to make him not able to turn and attack. Ball comes wide to me. You can see this guy is already starting to anticipate a one-time or two-time ball back to my center back. So I'm just going to turn into space and play into my winger. A good idea, but we just don't connect there. Um, but a, a decent effort. Ball goes wide to my winger once again. Just step in once I see uh, it's hesitating a little bit too much and then apply a lot of pressure to make him play backwards perfectly fine stopping the attacks not making it dangerous and then here we have Zaguro coming in as a left back I'm getting pushed over to the right side now so I'm on my natural foot my right foot however having said that this is where I have a dangerous play ball comes off the post into me and I try to clear it out but it hits my hand uh, and the ref does not call a handball and, I, and you know after thinking about this even though my heart skipped a beat in this play and it definitely did hit my hand since it come off my own foot it should have been called a handball. So it's a good call, or actually a good no call from the referee here. Um, but yeah, just falling backwards, trying to clear it out, right in the six, hits my hand. And I actually put this up here because I had to look it up just to be sure. But the following will not be a free kick if the ball touches a player's hand slash arm directly from their own head, body, or foot. So that's the new handball rules there. So a great no call from the ref. And you know I'm very thankful that he had a no call there because I was definitely... Uh, how do I put this lightly? I was definitely shooting bricks on that play. Um, here, uh, the left back hesitates a little bit. So as soon as I see that he has a weak pass out to the winger, I'm just getting tight and applying a lot of pressure to win that ball. But we just don't connect with a pass into our center mid there. Corner kick on the far side now. Um, just going to play it back and then a great cross to the far post. And then uh, their center back has a great header to uh, to score. There's some contact, but I think, you know, it's, again, I think it's a good no call from the referee. I don't think there's enough there to call an offensive foul. But, uh, but yeah, great cross and then great header. Uh, so now they tied things up 1-1. I think this is in the 70th or 71st minute. Good header. Yeah, that's a tough one to deal with. It's just a great ball. Um, center mid has the ball now, plays it out wide, and then almost immediately Zaguro now, cross hard, low on the ground, and then Uzo. Tries, uh, tries a shot in the center of the box and it hits their hand. And now the difference, I'm sure some of you guys are going to say, well, why'd they call this handball and not yours, um, is because this comes off from a, a attacker. It's blocking the shot. He's making his body bigger. Um, so that, yeah, it's again, it's a good call. I think this ref did a, a very good job this game, if I do say so myself. And then Martinez now with the penalty, finishes it, and now that puts us up 2-1 in the 74th minute. So amazing. You know, great... Uh, Great turnaround after getting scored on and losing that lead to now go right back, have a great attack, and gain that lead again. Ball is going to come out to me on the right. I'm going to just chest that ball down, play it into my center mid, and then do a quick one-two, and then a great tackle from the left back uh, to just stop that run. But uh, a good idea. I think it's a good combination, good run, just great defending from RGV. 
Uh, ball goes out wide to the winger, 1v1 now. He he loses the ball. I'm just going to try to get my body in between him and the ball so it goes out of bounce. So I'm going to cut in between the two, and then he pushes me over for a foul. So a decent, decent play. And then I kind of knocked the ball away. I got a little in trouble, but I'm trying to waste out the clock. 88th minute now, uh, great cross in. I know exactly where my winger is. It's a, this is dangerous. I'm letting the ball just go right past me because I don't want to try to get a deflection and an own goal. I know where that winger is, so I let that ball go in front of me, out wide, and then apply pressure, try to block the cross, and stop the ball. But you have to be careful when you try to let the ball go, um, like not touch the ball because you don't want a winger to, you know, to get on that end of it. Uh, just apply some pressure, 1v1 now on the wing, just 1v1 defending. To be honest, it did hit off me. It shouldn't have been a goal kick. That should have been a corner kick. But the ref uh, calls a goal kick here, uh, and that's going to happen. And then just try to run out the last few minutes of the clock. Now we are five in the back. Ball comes out wide to me. Lots of pressure. Make it difficult. Don't foul, but just be intense and make them play back. Waste more time. Stop the attack. Don't make it easy. And then here is the final play of the game. Uh, Panin Boyoke, he goes 1v1 here and then almost gets it three, almost makes it 3-1 for us, but just uh, just doesn't get the the finish there but uh, a good run good play and then right there's the uh the game as you can see panin good decision just a little bit if it just was a little bit wider i think that would have gone in um and then that's the game 2-1 so that's our first one of the season this is our third game of the season and like i said defensively i think it was a very good um game for me probably eight or nine out of ten i'd say offensively probably like a two or three out of ten nothing wrong but just nothing didn't have much besides uh uh, like a couple easy plays and a couple drive forwards, but nothing, no crosses, nothing, not, not what I wanted. But it's okay because the main the main goal is getting the win. We won. We got three points, so all good. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.